cultivate basic boxing techniques to a full and rounded state, and increase the power output to twice. Cultivate the basic body method to the level of great perfection and elevate it to the level of advanced micro. Dot. Cultivate basic swordsmanship to the level of great perfection and upgrade to the level of specialization. Travel to the world of devouring the starry sky, become the martial arts junior brother of Luo Feng, and pass the quasi martial arts assessment under the witness of Luo Feng. Step by step, lay a solid foundation and reach the peak step by step. Not the Virgin Mary, not seizing opportunities, only be the best version of yourself. Keywords of the novel Swallowing the starry sky Becoming stronger through cultivation without pop-ups, swallowing the starry sky Becoming stronger through cultivation Download the complete text, swallowing the starry sky Becoming stronger through cultivation Latest chapter reading Chapter 1 Basic Fist Techniques Great Perfection, Participate in the Assessment of Quasi-Martial Arts Practitioners You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1 Basic Fist Techniques Great Perfection, Participate in the Assessment of Quasi-Martial Arts Practitioners November 25, 2056 The Extreme Martial Arts Hall in Ian District, Yangzhou City located on the third floor of the Senior Student Teaching Building, is a super-large martial arts training hall. A young man wearing a white martial arts uniform is sweating profusely as he dances his fists. He punches, closes, closes, and every move is done meticulously, striving for perfection. As each complete punch action comes to an end, a clear warning sound will appear in the young man's mind. Basic Fist Technique, Proficiency Plus One once, once, again. I don't know how long it lasted, but finally, accompanied by a crisp mechanical reverberation in my mind, a deep blue light curtain suddenly popped up in the young man's mind, with gilded text written on it, the basic boxing technique has reached the level of great fullness, and the power output level has been increased to twice. The emergence of this news did not stop the youth's movements. On the contrary, the right foot stepped forward, turned around and twisted the crotch to exert force, and a powerful force emerged from the waist and crotch, passing along the spine all the way to the right arm, layer by layer, and passing to the right fist. Whoosh! Another fierce force was generated from within, driving the right fist to eject faster. The fist wind is piercing, with a rapid and sharp roar. With this punch, the young man finally collapsed weakly to the ground, his face filled with a satisfied smile in capital letters, staring straight at the bright ceiling with excitement in his heart. Finally, my basic martial arts have been elevated to the level of the Yuan Man. The young man's name is Luo Shen, S H A N, he is an ordinary traveler. When he first learned that he had traveled to a world that devoured the starry sky, Luo Shen was still a bit confused. As a social animal who works from nine to nine, he was able to manipulate Excel to extract data and write a general draft. How should a warrior adapt to a high-dot-risk profession? However, before his warrior dream could begin to unfold, reality had already slapped him in the face. Warriors, not everyone can be a warrior. To become a warrior, first of all, your physical fitness must reach the level of a quasi-warrior, that is, your fist power and brute force must reach 900 kilograms, your speed must reach 25 meters per second, and your neural response assessment must meet the standards. In addition, it is also necessary to pass two tests. The assessment of quasi-warriors and the assessment of warriors in actual combat. Afterwards, you can only truly become a warrior and have the qualification to go out and hunt monsters in the wilderness after entering your warrior information in your citizenship information. Will you die before you succeed in your graduation? Ah bah! After finally crossing the river, how could Luo Shen be willing to live a life of being a social animal from nine to nine in his previous life? Who hasn't had a martial arts dream yet? Who wouldn't want to one day become a super powerhouse who punches the Nanshan elderly home, kicks the Beihai kindergarten, and smashes the ugly Li Jianhe palace with the Statue of Liberty? Wan, Ho, General, 
and Xiang Ming have seeds. This warrior is worthy of others, but he cannot. So Luoshen's mind became hot, and he directly signed up to join the Yian District Extreme Martial Arts School where the protagonist Luo Feng had stayed, becoming a student here. However, at that time, Luo Feng had become a true warrior, going out to hunt monsters in the wilderness. I can only hear instructor Jiang Yen occasionally mention his proud student. At the beginning of joining the martial arts school, Luo Shen was still a bit uneasy. After all, he is already 18 years old after crossing the river. Would it be a bit late to start practicing martial arts now? If he is not the material for practicing martial arts, then where should he go? But all these distractions. After he practiced his fist completely, everything disappeared without a trace. Because, the golden finger has arrived. Unlike other travelers, starting with a high level of war god level mental and intellectual ability, drawing a random prize can directly skyrocket to the star level, and the function of his golden finger is relatively rudimentary. Simply summarize it in five words. Practice makes you stronger. Taking basic boxing as an example, as long as he can gain proficiency in practicing, and when he improves his basic boxing to a certain level, he can also gain some additional improvements. It doesn't sound much different from normal cultivation. But the biggest benefit of this golden finger is that as long as you put in effort, there will be rewards. And you can also clearly see how much proficiency there is before the next level of boxing. Unlike in his past life, he worked overtime at the company to create data reports, worked all night to complete the manuscript, and in the end, all he received was a boss's, well done, sentence without any substantial rewards. Sometimes they may even be thrown back and receive a sentence saying, this is not what I want. Moreover, after improving the level of basic boxing techniques, it can also accelerate the growth of physical fitness. It is precisely because of this that Luo Shen was able to become an intermediate and senior student of the martial arts school in just three months. Even before today, his standard boxing strength was less than 180 kilograms, which was below the assessment standard for quasi-martial artists. My basic martial arts level has been elevated to the Yuan Man, and in the next few days, my physical fitness will definitely improve rapidly. Luo Shen, drenched in sweat, stood up with difficulty and looked at the punching machine in the corner. He thought to himself, maybe I can still make it to the quasi-warrior assessment on December 1st. On the first of each month, the extreme club in Yangzhou City will hold a quasi-warrior assessment. After becoming a quasi-warrior, wait another month for the actual combat assessment on January 1st. Luo Shen's eyes were burning as he said, once I become a true warrior and purchase stronger secret scripts, my strength can improve even faster. Basic boxing is the best martial arts secret that all martial arts school students can learn. If you want to access better secrets, you can only become a warrior. The next few days. As expected by Luo Shen, due to the improvement of his basic boxing techniques to the level of great fullness, his physical fitness has once again made a significant leap. Especially under the guidance of instructor Jiang Nian. Pay attention to the combination of dietary therapy and higher intensity training, and the effect of improving physical fitness will be more obvious. On the evening of the 26th, the fist power reached 750 kilograms. On the evening of the 27th, the fist power reached 780 kilograms. On the evening of the 28th, the fist power reached 830 kilograms. On the evening of the 29th, when Luo Shen tested his martial arts brute force again, he found that his martial arts had already passed the 900 kilograms mark exceeding the bottom line of the quasi-martial arts assessment. So that evening, Luo Shen submitted his application to participate in the assessment on the official website of the Extreme Martial Arts School. During the two days waiting for the assessment to begin, Luo Shen was also not idle. In addition to daily strength training, he also added basic body training. Although I was not able to advance my body method to the micro level before the start of the probationary martial arts assessment. But according to the three levels of basic body methods, with a solid foundation, proficiency, 
and ease of use, Luo Shen has already demonstrated extremely high proficiency at this level of ease of use, just a line away from the advanced level body methods. The time has come to December 1, 2056. Early in the morning, Luo Shen left his low-rent house that he had been living in for several months and took the subway to the extreme club located in the center of the city, preparing to participate in the quasi-martial arts assessment. End of this chapter Chapter 2 First Meeting with Luo Feng You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 First Meeting with Luo Feng Mingyue Community The headquarters of Yangzhou City Extreme Martial Arts Club is located, covering a vast area of over a thousand acres. It is the main gathering place for the martial arts circle under the jurisdiction of Yangzhou City Extreme Martial Arts Club and also the main residence of the Martial Arts Club. When we arrived at the entrance of the community, it was only 8.30 p.m. After revealing his identity as a senior student, an old man with gray hair walked out of the guard lounge and took out his handheld computer, quickly verifying Luo Shen's identity. Oh, Ian District Branch, I'm 18 years old again. Looking at the message on the screen, the old man with gray hair smiled and pushed the reading glasses on his nose bridge, saying with a smile, did that kid Jiang Nian teach him? I remember Luo Feng, who only moved in a few months ago, seemed to have also taught him. Luo Shen nodded with a smile and said, yes, Jiang Nian often mentions senior brother Luo Feng. Not bad, not bad. In this year of Jiang Nian, the martial arts career has not been very smooth, but it has blossomed one after another in the field of preaching and receiving education. The old man with gray hair was quite emotional and encouraged, young people should try more. Wishing you a smooth passing today. Thank you, Luo Shen responded. After passing the certification, under the guidance of the guards, Luo Shen walked straight to the lobby of the extreme guild hall. The assessment will start at 10 a.m. Although Luo Shen arrived early, there were already quite a few people waiting at the lobby bar on the first floor. He was the fourth to arrive. Among those three people, there is also a senior student from the Extreme Martial Arts School in Ian District. However, Luo Shen's time as a senior student was not long, and he did not have much contact with the other party. Therefore, he simply greeted them and then sat down on the sofa next to him, patiently waiting. At 9.45, almost all the students participating in the assessment arrived. A middle-aged man wearing a white martial arts uniform walked over and greeted them to take the elevator in the hall, all the way up to the sixth-floor martial arts hall. Wow! The elevator door opens. At this moment, more than ten people had gathered in the oversized martial arts training hall, and Luo Shen fell into the crowd at first glance, the young man with a small head wearing a training suit and sweat stains on his temples. A slight movement in the heart. This is the future galactic lord, Luo Feng. Youth seems to have noticed. Turning his head to look over, his bright eyes shone like stars, and his gaze was electric. Even a simple glance made Luo Shen feel a heavy sense of oppression. Is this the spiritual oppression of the spiritual mind teacher? Luo Shen thought to himself. Luo Shen, come over and get to know your senior brother Luo Feng. Fortunately, Jiang Yen's voice rang out in time, and Luo Feng's gaze shifted. Luo Shen finally released his tight screen and took a deep breath. Luo Shen walked up to the two of them. Jiang Nian affectionately hugged his shoulder and introduced to the young man with an inch-long head, Luo Feng, this is your own junior brother Luo Shen. I can tell you, this kid's talent is even stronger than you used to be. The young man with a smile on his face patiently listened to Jiang Nian's words, his gaze fixed on Luo Shen. Luo Shen also looked at this destined protagonist. Although Luo Feng has only been a warrior for a few months now, he is already a well-known figure with the title of Madman in the martial arts circle, killing over 10,000 beast-level monsters, at least high-level beast soldiers, in just one month. Luo Shen, why aren't you talking, kid? Jiang Yan finally stopped talking. Looking at the two people with big and small eyes, he couldn't help but laugh and say, usually in the martial arts school, 
don't you often pester me to tell you about the deeds of your senior brother Luo Feng back then? Now that I am present, you are actually shy. Oh. Luo Feng looked at Luo Shen with great interest. He still has a good impression of this junior fellow disciple. Ah. Luo Shen's face was full of questions. Is it he who pestered Jiang Yan to ask? How could he remember that Jiang Yan himself insisted on repeating it over and over again, until everyone's ears were calloused, and he tirelessly told them how Luo Feng was back then, so that they should follow Luo Feng's example. It wasn't until Luo Shen noticed that Jiang Yan was constantly winking at him that he suddenly realized. Hart said, Jiang Yan is really well-intentioned. Both of them were taught by Jiang Yan. And now Luo Feng has made some achievements in the martial arts circle of Jiang Nan. As a teacher, Jiang Yan naturally hopes that the two disciples can help each other, mainly hoping that Luo Feng can lead Luo Shen. You have no relatives or connections, so why bother Luo Feng? So Jiang Yan thought about creating a fan image for Luo Shen and building a communication bridge between the two. When the two of them come into contact, at least they won't have nothing to say. Hello senior brother Luo Feng, I'm Luo Shen. Jiang Yan has already done this, so Luo Shen naturally won't be foolish enough to tell the truth. Moreover, he also hopes to get to know Luo Feng. Hello. With a smile, Luo Feng reached out and patted Luo Shen's shoulder, encouraging him, cheer up for the assessment later. When you become a warrior, if there is a chance, our martial brothers can fight side by side. Hmm. Luo Shen nodded. The two of them fell silent again, their big eyes wide-eyed. Fortunately, Wu Tong, with his long hair scattered, greeted him and said, Everyone, come over and prepare for the test. Resolved the embarrassment between the two. Senior brother Luo Feng, instructor Jiang Yan, I'll go over first. Luo Shen pointed to the direction of the students gathering. Jiang Yan smiled and said, Go ahead, maintain a calm mind, and just play normally. Luo Feng also punched him and signaled to cheer. Luo Shen gave a thumbs up. After returning to the student circle waiting for assessment, the middle dot aged man who had just led them up walked over, collected their ID cards, and handed them over to Wu Tong. Wu Tong casually took out an identity card and slid it over the open instrument next to him. Do. A crystal clear, transparent screen popped up on the instrument, displaying a large amount of personal information. The first one, Luo Shen. Glancing at the information on the screen, Wu Tong's indifferent face showed a smile as he praised Jiang Yan beside him, another 18.year.old martial artist Miao, Lao Jiang, you've been able to do it lately. Did you steal any teaching secrets? In the past two years, there have been no good seedlings in Ian District. I thought it was Jiang Yan, as the instructor, who stole laziness. After all, being an instructor is just a job, and some instructors may not teach seriously, resulting in poor teaching quality. Without excellent students, it becomes inevitable. But first there was Luo Feng who made a name for himself, and now there is another 18.year.old Luo Shen. It seems that he misunderstood earlier. Looking at the gazes cast around him, Jiang Yan couldn't help but straighten his waist and waved his hand with a smile, saying, I'm a rough guy, where can I get any secrets? These are all the results of the student's hard training. Wu Tong smiled and remained silent. Students with good talent and diligent training ultimately require guidance from a good instructor. Jiang Yan, this kid, has finally matured. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Recruitment You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 3 Recruitment Luo Shen walked up to the punching machine. Looking at the punch target in front of me, I adjusted my breathing slightly. His original plan was to pass the quasi-warrior assessment as long as he could, but the appearance of Luo Feng suddenly gave him a strong desire to perform. After all, this is his first meeting with Luo Feng, and he must perform well in front of the protagonist. Leave a deep impression. Everyone present's gaze fell on Luo Shen, 
who had been standing in front of the punching target for a while without any movement. He can't be nervous, can he? Among the onlookers, a voice suddenly came out. Upon hearing this, Jiang Yan couldn't help but turn his head and glare fiercely, showing a hint of nervousness in his gaze towards Luo Shen. Luo Feng next to him is also watching carefully. No matter how well trained they are, if they fall off the chain at the critical moment, causing them to perform poorly, even if they become martial artists, they will not have much to do. Even the slightest mistake can be fatal when facing fierce monsters. I hope his junior brother is not like this. And at this moment, Luo Shen moved. With a light footstep and a slight body turn, a powerful force burst out from his waist and hips, stretching through his arms. Suddenly, a fierce internal force burst out of thin air again, but Luo Shen's fist seemed to be a detached shell, howling with a gust of wind. Pang! The fist hit the target fiercely. Okay. Upon seeing this scene, Jiang Yan instinctively praised it. Luo Feng couldn't help but brighten his eyes. The group of warriors present in the battle have all experienced the baptism of monsters in the wilderness area, and their strength may not be very good, but their eyesight is definitely top-notch. They can see at a glance the strength of Luo Shen's punch. It is absolutely necessary to cultivate the basic martial arts techniques of the martial arts school to a perfect level in order to strike such a beautiful punch. In fact, if we only pursue maximum power, many of them can unleash 150% of themselves, even higher. In the wilderness, fighting monsters, such actions are undoubtedly seeking their own death. However, Luo Shen's punch was different. Because while unleashing such a powerful force, Luo Shen was still able to maintain a constant center of gravity. Obviously, the burst of this punch was under his control, which means he could easily control this force. This is more powerful than many warriors present. Even Luo Feng, who has achieved success in practicing the Ninefold Thunder Blade, is only on par with Luo Shen in terms of physical strength. Looking at the number displayed on the screen again. 2,501 kilograms. To be honest, this number is not high. It's just over the bottom line of intermediate warrior level. For the warriors present, any one of them can easily unleash such strength. Even after deducting twice the burst, Luo Shen's actual punching power is only around 1,200 kilograms. Not much higher than other assessment students. But. One thing must be clear. That's the owner who typed this number, Luo Shen, who is only 18 years old this year. Compared to the youngest among the martial artists present, Luo Feng is even smaller. Moreover, without any cultivation resources or any powerful secret scripts, Luo Shen's talent should be outstanding. With just one basic fist technique, he can cultivate his strength to this level. Even Chief Instructor Wu Tong's gaze towards Luo Shen couldn't help but change slightly. There are many ways to improve physical fitness. For example, cultivating genetic abilities, relying on various precision instruments to assist training, and even relying on various natural materials and treasures. Therefore, even high-dot-level warriors aged 18 have seen many of them. There are no shortcuts to techniques such as body movements and physical exertion. Genius, this is definitely a genius. A thought flashed through Wu Tong's mind. But he was not in a hurry to show it. He also wants to see how Luo Shen will perform next. Silently holding Luo Shen's ID card in his right hand, Wu Tong picked up another ID card and slid it over the instrument, shouting, Next, Lin Hao. And Luo Shen walked back to the students being assessed. In the crowd, Jiang Yan and Luo Feng are also discussing Luo Shen's performance. Instructor, my junior apprentice is really impressive, Luo Feng felt quite emotional in his heart. He had been practicing the SSS level secret script, Ninefold Thunder Knife, for several months, and finally achieved the second level with only 2.1 times his physical strength. Ko Luo Shen caught up with him with just one basic boxing technique. This talent is indeed terrifying. Yeah. 
Jiang Nian was also sighing. When Luoshan first joined the martial arts school, he thought he was a bit old. He only signed up for the school at the age of 17, but his subsequent performance left him completely dumbfounded. In just a few months, I have successively become an intermediate and advanced student in the martial arts school. Even now, the strength of one punch has reached the intermediate warrior level. Listening to Jiang Nian's emotions, Luo Feng's desire to understand this junior brother became even stronger. Suddenly, a feeling arose in his heart. Perhaps in the near future, they will really fight side by side. The assessment is still ongoing. Only eight students participated in the assessment this time. After Luo Shen was the first to receive the assessment, the remaining seven also completed the boxing test one after another and all passed. The next step is a speed test. The testing sequence is opposite to just now, with Luo Shen, who initially tested his punching power, ranking last. The seven students were connected and tested for speed, but three of them did not meet the speed standard, and only four passed. Under the command of Wu Tong, Luo Shen also walked onto the runway. After a few jumps and jumps in place. Whoosh! Suddenly, with a burst of force, it seemed like a cheetah launching an attack. The interactive pedaling between legs brings a special sense of beauty. Each landing point can drive the body forward faster, as if a strong wind is blowing over the speed test area, and the speed is significantly higher than that of a junior warrior. The data displayed on the screen. 35.1 meters per second. Exceeding the qualified line by a large margin. Seeing this number, Luo Shen is also quite satisfied. Fortunately, he has read the original work and knows that physical exertion can not only affect attacks, but also on his legs, making him faster and possessing the ability to engage in superior combat. This scene, in Luo Feng's eyes, seemed like a thunderbolt falling. I never thought that if my arms and fists could exert force, my legs and feet could naturally exert force too. Martial experts have exquisite control over power, allowing their fists to unleash astonishing power. Similarly, their legs and feet can naturally achieve the same effect. But Luo Feng never thought of this before. Originally, it was only after Luo Feng went to the elite training camp that he realized this point. But now, after watching Luo Shen's performance, he was inspired in advance, and after understanding this point, the improvement of Luo Feng's strength is by no means insignificant. Luo Shen was unaware that his unintentional behavior could bring about such a change in Luo Feng. In the final nerve reaction speed test, his performance was equally excellent. Within 60 seconds, he was hit zero times, did not touch the red light, and scored full marks at the junior warrior level. Watching Luo Shen's performance, Wu Tong also made up his mind completely. Recruitment Be sure to recruit in advance. Such an outstanding genius, any hesitation for a second is disrespectful to the point of contribution. Unlike ordinary warriors, these martial arts instructors have long retired and no longer enter the wilderness to hunt monsters. The only way to obtain contribution points is to cultivate and explore talents for the martial arts school. Especially for geniuses like Luo Shen. Once recruited successfully, the martial arts school will also reward them with a large number of contribution points. Congratulations, Luo Shen. Once the official documents are issued, you will become a quasi-warrior. Wu Tong held Luo Shen's ID card and looked at him with a smile. Our extreme martial arts school is thirsty for talent, and we hope to sign a recruitment contract with you in advance. What do you think? End of this chapter. Chapter 4. Five Hearts Towards Heaven. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 4 Five Hearts Towards Heaven in Theory. The early recruitment contract needs to be approved by the Jiangnan headquarters before it can be given. But as the chief instructor of the Extreme Club, Wu Tong has a special right to independently evaluate the comprehensive potential of students in order to issue early recruitment contracts for potential students. Of course, this contract can only be standardized. 
that is, a start dot up capital of 20 million yuan, a single family villa, and a 50 million yuan purchase limit specifically used to purchase secret scripts, body techniques, and guidance techniques. If you want to increase the contract amount, it must be reviewed and confirmed by the headquarters supervisor. And although he has privileges, Wu Tong cannot use it recklessly. After issuing the early recruitment contract, Wu Tong also needs to report to the Jiangnan headquarters. If it is ultimately found that the potential students he identified have not shown their due potential, falsification, this privilege will also be deprived and corresponding penalties will be imposed in the next two years. But when this privilege is applied to Luo Shen, Wu Tong thinks it is particularly valuable. After listening to the contract terms given by Wu Tong, Luo Shen naturally chose to agree. Although the amount of this contract is not as large as the contract Zhuge Tao gave Luo Feng back then, he has not shown any outstanding performance in other aspects except for his excellent physical performance. What more bicycles do you need? Upon receiving a response, Wu Tong immediately submitted a form to the headquarters and printed the contract text. After Luo Shen and a group of students who passed the assessment, signed the contract for the practical assessment of martial artists, and learned the Five Hearts Towards Heaven cultivation method, Wu Tong returned with the contract. Come on, Luo Shen, sign here. Amidst the envious gazes of the crowd, Luo Shen took the recruitment contract from Wu Tong. Flipped through it casually. A few thin pages of paper, with not many recorded terms, and each term is described in easy to understand language, making it clear at a glance. Shua 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 Luo Shen, who did not find any problems, directly signed his name. Two copies of the contract. One copy needs to be returned to the Jiangnan headquarters for filing, while the other copy is left for Luo Shen himself. Wu Tong smiled and said, Starting today, we will be a family. When are we planning to move? Are you planning to move to Mingyue community or Wuja community in the main urban area of Jiangnan? The initial start dot up funds for warriors can only be used after Luo Shen becomes an official warrior. But a detached villa is different. As long as Luo Shen is willing, he can move in today. Luo Shen looked at the instructors Jiang Yan and Luo Feng who were waiting next to him and smiled, saying, since senior brother Luo Feng and Uncle Wu are both in Mingyue community, I'll move into Mingyue community and be your neighbor. Upon hearing these words, Wu Tong's smile deepened. Let's take you to see our new home first, and then we'll have a welcome banquet for you at noon. Wu Tong greeted Jiang Yan, who was eager to see him next to him, and joked, Old Jiang, don't look. Let's take Luo Shen to see the house and have lunch together. Jiang Yan chuckled. He said to Luo Feng next to him, Look, I just said this kid will definitely choose Mingyue community. Luo Feng nodded with a smile. Because of Luo Shen, he realized that physical strength can also affect his legs, and his strength will definitely increase significantly in the future. For this cheap junior brother, Luo Feng's gaze also changed a bit. Knowing that Wu Tong is going to arrange a villa for Luo Shen. A group of good warriors also joined in the fun, clustering around Luo Shen and Wu Tong, walking towards the interior of the community. Due to the brotherly relationship between Luo Shen and Luo Feng, when selecting a villa, we specifically asked for Luo Shen's opinion and then selected villa 213 closest to Luo Feng's villa 199. It's just behind Luo Feng's house, with a straight distance of only 10 meters. For this, Luo Feng smiled and invited, after moving over, you have to come to my house as a guest. It can be seen from their titles that their relationship has become much closer. At noon that day, under the leadership of Chief Instructor Wu Tong, Instructor Jiang Yan, Luo Feng, and some martial artists in Mingyue community organized a welcome banquet for Luo Shen, and the enthusiastic crowd almost managed to knock him down. Fortunately, Wu Tong was concerned about Luo Shen's move and spoke up to dissuade him, so everyone finally let him go. In the evening, with the help of a group of guard soldiers, Luo Shen successfully moved into Villa 213. Late at night, 
Luo Shen walked into the martial arts training hall on the second floor wearing a loose training suit. This martial arts training hall is over 120 square meters, accounting for more than half of the total area on the second floor. However, at this moment, the super large martial arts training hall is empty with no equipment. Just moved into Mingyue community and has not yet become a formal warrior, Luo Shen doesn't have enough money to buy those expensive auxiliary training equipment. But Luo Shen didn't care either. He casually found a piece of land and sat cross legged. Placed a posture with five hearts facing upwards. The gene primitive cultivation method, also known as the five hearts towards heaven method. This is the only way on earth to cultivate genetic energy, and it is also the fundamental strength of warriors. By absorbing the free energy from the universe and integrating it into every cell in the body, we cultivate the original energy of genes, continuously optimizing them. Bones, cells, blood, organs, skin, and so on will undergo continuous evolution and improvement. Generally, once the physical fitness requirements of a warrior are met, one can start attempting to cultivate genetic abilities. But you can try practicing. There is still some difference between achieving true cultivation success. After all, in order to absorb cosmic energy, you must first sense the existence of cosmic energy. Those with strong physical fitness and strong consciousness can generally sense cosmic energy on the first day of cultivation, but for those with weak talent, it is not so easy to sense cosmic energy. Luo Shen adjusted his breathing and maintained a five-heart upward position. If he didn't have the golden finger, in terms of talent, Luo Shen could only be considered average and average, but fortunately, he was diligent enough and with the assistance of the golden finger, he was able to improve his physical fitness to the level of a warrior in just a few months. Breath, inhale, Luo Shen tried to slow down his breathing and gradually ease his body. Not long after, I saw Luo Shen enter a state of mind, as if he had completely let go, but his consciousness suddenly caught the wandering cosmic energy. Hmm, did you sense it so quickly? Luo Shen was only slightly distracted and soon forgot about this matter. Sensing the energy of the universe makes the rest of the matter much simpler. Sensing the hazy aura wandering around the five hearts of his body, Luo Shen could even feel them slowly flowing into the Baihui acupoint on his palms, soles, and head, but at a very slow speed. Absorb. Luo Shen intentionally guided those cold breath, and the five hearts simultaneously emitted the idea of absorption. In an instant it was as if a flood had burst its embankment. The originally slow-flowing scent of a stream suddenly became fierce, like a mountain collapse and tsunami, rushing crazily into the body through the five heart passage. A large amount of cosmic energy flows into the body, which is continuously absorbed by the mitochondria inside the cells and converted into a genetic energy. This energy is then absorbed by the cells everywhere, and the entire cell undergoes earth shaking changes. Luo Shen's body is also rapidly evolving. Skin, muscles, bones, and even every cell at a deeper level, even genes themselves, undergo slight changes. This change is the evolution of life and an optimization of life genes. At the same time, the attribute panel in my mind constantly pops up messages saying, five hearts towards heaven method, proficiency plus one. End of this chapter. Chapter 5. Instinct. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 5 Instinct, 5 Heart Towards Heaven Technique, Proficiency Plus 1 5 Heart Towards Heaven Technique, Proficiency Plus 1 5 Heart Towards Heaven Technique, Proficiency Plus 1 As the speed at which the 5 Hearts channel absorbs cosmic energy accelerates, the proficiency of the 5 Hearts Towards Heaven method on the mind interface is constantly refreshing and jumping. Different from Ordinary Quasi-Warriors Luo Shen's body exerts twice as much force as his brute force, and the speed at which he absorbs cosmic energy per unit of time is already faster than that of an average person. Soon, the proficiency of the five hearts towards heaven method was full. Ding, the five hearts towards heaven technique has reached a perfect state, obtaining the five hearts vortex. Instinct 
the original Five Heart channel underwent tremendous changes, constantly emitting terrifying suction, as if forming a small vortex, allowing the surrounding cosmic energy to be involuntarily absorbed into the body. And there is no need for Luo Shen to actively control it, just like eating and drinking water, it is completely instinctive. In this way, Luo Shen can completely focus his energy on refining genetic energy. Time passes by minute by second. One hour, two hours, three hours. Gradually, Luo Shen was completely immersed in the refinement and absorption of genetic energy, forgetting the passage of time. The next morning, as the playful sounds of children outside echoed in his ears, Luo Shen, who had been maintaining a five heart upward posture all night, trembled slightly, and his tightly closed eyes slowly opened. Ha, huh, take a long sigh of relief. It's over. Finally, every hungry and thirsty cell has been fed, and there is no more room for any excess genetic energy. Looking up at the clock on the wall. It's not yet five o'clock in the morning. Counting the time, this cultivation exceeded six hours. To be honest, Luo Shen himself was also surprised. He also didn't expect that his first genetic training could last so long, after all, when Luo Feng first practiced genetic training in the original work, he only lasted for two hours. And he is three times as much as Luo Feng. Standing up, Luo Shen twisted his neck, clenched his fist with his right hand, and roared out. The sharp wind echoed in the spacious martial arts training hall, feeling the power filling his body, much stronger than yesterday. Having absorbed so much genetic energy, my physical strength cannot be doubled. Luo Shen chuckled. At the beginning of absorbing cosmic energy and refining it into genetic energy, he could still vaguely feel the improvement of his physical fitness. However, as the five hearts move towards heaven, the instinctive five hearts vortex absorbs more than twice as fast as before, and the refined and absorbed genetic energy also becomes more abundant. The speed of improvement is too fast. He gave up this idea and instead completely immersed himself in the joy of refining and absorbing. Although he doesn't have the potential for solid mental and intellectual abilities like Luo Feng. But with three times the cultivation time of Luo Feng, the cultivation effect is definitely not inferior. As for the actual effect, it still needs to be tested at the extreme guild hall. We still need to build a boxing test machine. Luo Shen couldn't resist roast. The martial arts school is really good. Since it has been given a single villa and decorated with a martial arts training hall, why don't you know how to build a boxing test machine? Every time you have to go to the martial arts school, there is no privacy at all. Unfortunately, Luo Shen doesn't have much money at the moment, and even the lowest level boxing test machine costs 5 million. I can't afford it at all. We can only wait for him to become a formal warrior and gain something from hunting monsters outside, then consider this issue again. After thinking about it. At this point in time, even the most hard-working warrior in the entire community is still asleep. Just in time when nobody is around, go to the guild hall to test it. In the early morning of December, the sky was still a bit gray, and lonely street lights shone all night, illuminating the roads of the community. Luo Shen walked alone on the path, and the scene looked somewhat desolate. Fortunately, the extreme club is right in front of us. Just entered the entrance of the guild hall. The receptionist in the hall warmly smiled and said, Mr. Luo Shen, why did you come so early? There's no one upstairs yet. Do you need anything to drink? I'll bring it to you. For this young man who was only recruited yesterday, her impression is quite profound. After all, even the first brother of the guild, the chief instructor Wu Tong, treated Luo Shen with great respect. These working people naturally dared not cause trouble, otherwise Luo Shen could make them lose their jobs with just one sentence. No need, please help me make a backup breakfast and I'll come down to eat later. For the girl's enthusiasm, Luo Shen just smiled and waved his hand, then walked into the elevator and went upstairs directly. In the spacious martial arts training hall on the sixth floor. 
Luoshan only conducted a quasi-warrior assessment here yesterday, and naturally became familiar with the road. He first turned on the switch of the fist strength tester, then turned on the switch of the speed tester, and stood on the runway. First, test how much speed has improved. Standing on the runway, Luo Shen moved his hands and feet to avoid injury caused by excessive movements later on. Take a deep breath, look straight in the eyes, and with a whoosh, it instantly shoots out, like an arrow off the string. Almost in the blink of an eye, it rushes over the runway and slows down to a stop. I didn't use speed and force techniques, I just ran purely relying on physical strength. Walking over to the speed tester and looking at it, the screen displayed the number prominently. 58.6 meters per second Seeing this number, Luo Shin couldn't help but brighten his eyes, because reaching a speed of 60 meters per second means that his physical fitness has reached the bottom line of advanced warrior level. Test your punching power again. The punching test machine has been turned on, so Luo Shin walked directly to the testing punching target. Take a deep breath and suddenly punch. Boom. The fist hit the target like a shell, and the target suddenly shook, displaying the number. 3,737 kilograms on the screen. So much. Luoshan felt like Pi was falling from the sky. Generally speaking, the minimum weight for advanced warrior level is only 4,000 kilograms, and 8,000 kilograms is considered the minimum weight for junior warrior level. And for his first time practicing, his physical fitness almost reached the bottom limit of the advanced warrior level. With twice the strength of his body and a single strike, he almost reached the power of a junior warrior. When my body skills are further improved to the level of micro level, won't I be able to compete with elementary beast generals? Physical fitness is only a part of strength. In real combat, physical fitness, physical strength, body movements, and sword techniques are all important factors that determine the outcome of the battle. Unless there is real power to suppress, one force can defeat the opponent ten times, using brute force to defeat them. Otherwise, in an evenly matched battle, any one of them may lead to a change in the outcome of the battle. In terms of physical fitness, the instinctive absorption of the Five Hearts Vortex will continuously strengthen Luo Shen's body, and his body will exert strength. Before becoming a formal warrior and obtaining stronger combat secrets, Luo Shen should not have made significant improvements. So, what he can improve is his body and sword techniques. Neural Response Tester Luo Shen's gaze fell on the entrance of the neural response testing room, where the neural response testing instrument would be the best helper for improving his body skills. End of this chapter. Chapter 6. Joining the Hammer Squad. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 6 Joining the Hammer Squad on December 28, at 5.43 a.m. Luo Shen, who had just completed his knife training, walked into the neural response testing room. For this small room, which is only about 100 square meters, Luo Shen is already quite familiar with it. Apart from a neural reaction tester, there are no other large equipment in the entire room. At the forefront of this device, there are holes resembling Gatling machine guns that shoot out one by one. But the quantity is much larger, a total of 50 or 60. The testing of neural response testing instruments is naturally divided into intensity levels. The most basic level is used to assess intermediate students, while the highest level is used to test and train the top strong warriors. The mode set by Luo Shen is elementary general level. Although after more than half a month, Luo Shen's physical brute force has only surpassed 4,000 kilograms, his speed is no different from that of ordinary elementary warriors under the explosive force of twice his body strength. So during this period, he has also been using the basic warrior level mode to assist in cultivating his body methods. After setting a delay start, Luo Shen quickly walked into a circle with a diameter of 3.6 meters. During training, Luo Shen had strict requirements for himself. Once he touched the red light or was hit by a certain number of bullets, he immediately stopped training. Stand within the circle for a moment. 
The neural response testing machine's muzzle rotated and accelerated until it reached an astonishing speed. Then, dozens of muzzles in the huge muzzle burst out rubber bullets one after another, and the rubber bullets quickly shot into the red hood. The speed of those bullets varies, and even their flight paths are not parallel, very chaotic. This speed is still so fast. In the center of the red circle, Luo Shen is rapidly moving on a small scale. Staring intently at the trajectory of the bullets, he quickly calculated the best option in his mind. He was like an elegant spirit cat, constantly dodging left and right, evading rubber bullets time and time again. Light-footed and quick to dodge. Pop. Pop. Despite being hit by two bullets in a row due to a mistake, Luo Shen still did not hesitate, and his evasive movements did not change at all. Because these hit bullets are also included in his calculations. A minute passed quickly. The muzzle slowed down until it stopped rotating, and a large string of numbers appeared on the screen. Walking to the screen position, Luo Shen lowered his head and glanced at it. Hm 60 seconds, hit 43 times, not touching red light, good. Seeing this result, I couldn't help but shake my head. The achievement of achieving this level in the junior general mode is already a peak that is difficult for ordinary senior warriors to reach, but for Luo Shen, it is still far from enough. There's still some room for improvement in body techniques to enter the micro level. The advanced body method refers to using a small amount of body movement during a life or death battle with a monster to make the monster's attack pass by. Because the body movement is small, it can dodge more times per unit of time, with extremely high efficiency. That's why more accurate judgments are needed. Otherwise, once there is an error, the monster's claws may not just pass by, but directly cut through its body, cutting it open. When I dodged earlier, I made seven mistakes. Luo Shen is still reviewing his body training just now. It's not scary to make mistakes, just follow the clues, identify the root cause of the problem, and solve it. This is the most important thing. Fortunately, with the help of a neural response tester. Over the past half month, Luo Shen's proficiency in body movements has rapidly skyrocketed. But compared to the almost perfect basic body techniques, Luo Shen's proficiency in knife techniques is simply pitiful. After training for more than half a month, he has not even filled half of his proficiency. After all, body cultivation can still rely on the assistance of a neural reaction tester, but knife techniques don't have such a good thing. Martial arts schools do not teach basic swordsmanship. If you want to practice swordsmanship, you can only refer to some free online teaching videos and constantly explore them yourself. During his time at the extreme martial arts school, Jiang Nian also taught some knife techniques. But at that time, Luo Shen was eager to improve his physical fitness, and the efficiency of practicing sword techniques for physical fitness was not high. On the contrary, every level of improvement in basic boxing techniques would accelerate his physical fitness growth. So the knife technique was temporarily put on hold by Luo Shen. Like body techniques, knife techniques are also divided into three levels. Solid foundation, proficiency, and easy to pick. Above that, there is the specialization level. Although for over half a month, Luo Shen has been diligently supplementing the basic knowledge of swordsmanship, spending one dot third of his daily training time on swordsmanship, he has only reached the level of proficiency. However, the monsters in the actual combat assessment of warriors are all the lowest H dot level. With his strength, he can completely crush these most ordinary monsters even with just his physical fitness, and his proficient level of knife techniques is enough. After the training, Luo Shen went downstairs with sweat all over his body. In the bar on the first floor lobby, several warriors were sitting chatting, two of whom were Wu Tong and Luo Feng. Ah Shen. Luo Feng smiled and waved. Good kid. Wu Tong also smiled and said, I came to practice so early in the morning. I am truly a young man, full of energy. This reminds me of me back then, you know. 
Upon hearing that Wu Tong was about to reminisce about the past, Luo Shen quickly spoke up and said, Feng Gu, Uncle Wu, what are you two talking about? Luo Feng also knew Wu Tong's nagging skills and took the opportunity to answer, aren't you going to participate in the martial arts practical assessment in a few days? Uncle Wu asked if it's possible to let you join our fire hammer team so that I can take care of you. Luo Shen looked at Wu Tong. Wu Tong nodded and said, the fire hammer team is not weak. If a newcomer like you can join, you can learn a lot and it will be beneficial for your future path as a warrior. What do you mean, Brother Fong? Luo Shen asked. Wu Tong may not be very clear, but Luo Shen is very clear. Except for retired Zhang Ku, the rest of the members of the Fire Hammer team, Chen Gu and Wei brothers, have all taken genetic potions and their physical fitness has been improved to the level of generals. Luo Feng smiled and said, if it were you, of course I would be happy. The two of them lived close together and also came from Ian district. It was only because of Luo Shen that Luo Feng realized that physical strength can be used for speed, so their relationship has been good for over half a month. For Luo Shen's strength, Luo Feng naturally understands. Although he has just passed the quasi-warrior assessment for less than a month, Luo Shen's physical fitness has reached the advanced warrior level, and with his physical strength, he can also be considered a general-level warrior. It's just a lack of experience in wilderness combat. Since Brother Fong has said so, if I refuse again, it would be a bit disrespectful, Luo Shen smiled. Wu Tong nodded with a smile and said, since that's the case, then this matter is settled. By the way, the actual combat assessment for martial artists will be in two or three days. As if suddenly remembering something, Wu Tong warned, many newcomers see blood and can only unleash one or two percent of their strength. When facing monsters, they also shrink back. Although the monsters being assessed are all the lowest level basic beast soldiers, their killing power is not weak at all. You need to be more careful not to capsize in the sewer. Luo Shen nodded, indicating that he understood. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Warrior Practical Assessment, Start You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Warrior Practical Assessment, Start At 8 a.m. on January 1, 2057 Under the leadership of Wu Tong, the chief instructor of the Extreme Guild Hall, a group of 43 quasi-warriors, including Luo Shen, rushed to the railway station together. They needed to take a train to the North Military District of Jiangnan City. The Northern Military Region is the last line of defense in Jiangnan Base City. The entire military camp covers an extremely wide area, especially for those who have just entered the camp. At a glance, they can see a large number of heavy and hot weapons arranged on the outskirts of the camp. The muzzle is aimed at the outside of the camp, and a large number of guards hold firearms, their eyes burning, cross patrol, and not miss any blind spots. Outside the military cordon, one can still see the figures of many monsters, occasionally emitting a deafening roar. Sure enough, after leaving the base city, monsters can be seen everywhere. Luo Shen was quite emotional. After the great nirvana, everything was overturned and restarted. Humans who have always claimed to be the spirits of all things can only live under the protection of the high walls of the base city. Faced with those terrifying monsters, only warriors among humans can fight against them. No wonder in human society, the status of warriors is infinitely elevated. Due to the arrival of these students who participated in the actual combat assessment of warriors, the originally peaceful military camp became very lively, especially the soldiers in the cooking class who were busy. Lunch for thousands of people, this workload is quite substantial. 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Thousands of quasi-warriors stood on the open square, and on the front desk of the square stood the high-dot-level buildings of the Jiangnan North Military Region, as well as some high-dot-level buildings of the Thunderbolt Martial Arts School and Extreme Martial Arts School. A large number of weapons and combat uniforms were neatly placed in front of a group of quasi-warriors. Under the distribution of ten officers, everyone quickly received their combat uniforms and weapons. 
Luoshen chose the 103 kg Ghost Blade 2 series, and as for equipment such as combat suits, shields, and communication watches, he also tried to choose the best within the range he could. This is the first time fighting a monster, be careful not to make a big mistake. However, these equipment are indeed good, but the weight is not something that ordinary people can bear. More than 200 kilograms. With such heavy equipment, for an average quasi-warrior, not to mention using them for combat, it would probably be difficult to even move bullets while wearing them. Fortunately, Lu Ocean's physical fitness is strong enough, just right for him. Just as he finished putting on his clothes and was about to turn around, he saw Wu Tong running towards him at the edge of the square, clattering and clattering. Uncle Wu, Lu Ocean welcomed him. Have you received all the weapons and combat uniforms? Wu Tong glanced at Luo Shen and nodded with satisfaction. It seems there's nothing missing. Just in time, before the assessment starts, I'll take you to meet Director Zhuge. Supervisor. Luo Shen hesitated slightly. Zhuge Supervisor, whose full name is Zhuge Tao, is one of the four giants of the Jiangnan Headquarters Extreme General Hall, and also the strongest angel round investor in the various heavens and worlds. I thought I had joined the extreme martial arts school in advance, so I shouldn't have had any contact with this Juga supervisor. But now it seems that Juga's investment instinct is still in effect. Wu Tong led the way ahead and continued to delve deeper along the buildings in the northern military district. Soon, he led Luo Shen to a quiet small building. Go straight up to the second floor. At this moment, in the living room on the second floor, a middle dot aged man wearing a dark and slightly silver combat uniform was whispering to the few people standing respectfully behind him. Supervisor, I have brought Mr. Luo here, Wu Tong smiled and gestured to him with a corner of his eye. Luo Shen also spoke up, I have seen the supervisor. Come on, come on, come on, sit down. Zhuge Tao wore a faint smile on his face, warm and warm. He inadvertently brought him closer. After Luo Shen and his wife sat down, he smiled and said, I've heard Wu Tong talk about you a long time ago, but I haven't had the chance to meet you. Now, at first glance, you're really a young talent. It sounds good when it comes to being the supervisor. Luo Shen smiled humbly and said, The supervisor's suggestion is not worth mentioning. It's a subtle trick. Hey hey, you can't say that. Zhuge Tao touched his eight-character beard and said, Your talent in physical strength is indeed outstanding. Even after all these years, I haven't seen any quasi-martial artist who can achieve this level through hard training on his own. Speaking, Zhuge Tao waved behind him. Subsequently, a woman wearing a purple combat uniform walked up and presented a delicate business card with both hands, which contained Zhuge Tao's name and a personal number. Seeing Luo Shen was somewhat puzzled. Zhuge Tao smiled and said, when going out, it's inevitable to encounter some trouble. If you encounter any problems that cannot be solved in the future, you can call me. I still have some say in Jiangnan Base City. Luo Shen understood in his heart, the angel round investment led by Zhuge has come again. So he obediently accepted the business card. Seeing Luo Shen accept his business card, Zhuge Tao's smile grew a bit stronger and he asked, according to Wu Tong, are you planning to purchase the secret script of Ninefold Thunder Knife for cultivation? Luo Shen nodded and said, senior brother Luo Feng and uncle Wu both suggested that I practice this sword technique. I personally prefer using war knives. Zhuge Tao thought for a moment and nodded in agreement, saying, although getting started with the ninefold thunder blade is not easy, your own level of power is high. I think the first two levels should not be difficult for you. After all, practicing the nine thunder knife into the first two layers, the body's strength is only 2.1. However, this also brings other issues. That's the secret script. Because Luo Shen has a high level of strength, he will definitely get started quickly. At least he needs to purchase the first three secret scripts, but buying them at half price alone would cost 1 billion yuan. The fourth half price is 250 million yuan. 
Although Zhuge Tao couldn't afford the 250 million yuan, the question is, is Luoshen worth such a large investment? Immediately, Zhuge Tao thought of Luo Feng again. The previous Luo Feng who was recruited in advance has now earned the title of Madman with infinite potential. With Luo Shen's current performance, he is not even worse than Luo Feng, is he? The mind revolves around a hundred thoughts. Zhuge Tao finally made up his mind that the actual combat assessment for martial artists would start soon, and he could observe carefully. If Luo Shen really showed this potential, then he would have paid 250 million yuan. However, Zhuge Tao did not say anything about it, but encouraged Luo Shen, be well prepared, come on later. Luo Shen, dot. What about the agreed strongest angel round investor in the heavens and realms? Faced with other travelers, he would send various funds and help, but when it came to him, there was only one word of encouragement. Oh, man. Until Wu Tong left with Luo Shen, he never understood where he was really lacking. In the evening, the sun sets in the west. Under the leadership of officers from the northern military region, thousands of quasi-warriors arrived at the outskirts of a monster town, and various terrifying monster roars emanated from the town, leaving people feeling uneasy. After preaching the assessment rules, the door of the small town opened. The practical assessment of warriors has officially begun. End of this chapter Chapter 8 Introduction to Body Techniques You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Introduction to Body Techniques All assessment students, enter the town. Thousands of quasi-warriors lined up in a mighty line to enter this dilapidated and desolate town. At the edge of the town, there were also a large number of searchlight pillars, and bright beams of light shone in, illuminating the area as bright as day. The assessment rules are still the same. Kill the monster, cut off the monster's left ear, and those who rank in the top 60% of points will qualify as warriors. After entering the small town, many quasi-warriors quickly burrow into houses or stick to the corners of the street, moving forward with caution. More than a thousand quasi-warriors, like a drop of water dripping into the sea, quickly merged into the small town and disappeared without a trace. Luo Shen walked alone into a street. Carrying a narrow ghostly sword in his hand, he walked in the middle of the road like a stroll. Looking at the deserted streets, abandoned cars scattered haphazardly, dilapidated houses on both sides tangled with vines and weeds, and nearby monsters roaring one after another. This is the real wilderness area. Many quasi-warriors noticed Luo Shen on the street and immediately widened their eyes. The streets are unobstructed and the air flows quickly. With the sensitive smell of monsters, it is easy to smell the scent of humans and come upon hearing the news. Moreover, the streets are straight like arrows, and you can see your head at a glance. Walking so swaggeringly, I'm afraid it's not seeking death. Sure enough, roar. However, in just over half a minute, two tiger mastiffs and an iron-haired wild boar emerged from several alleys on the street, approaching Luo Shen at an extremely fast speed, like several speeding heavy cars rushing towards him. Many people instinctively withdrew their gaze, afraid that these three monsters would tear up Luo Shen and discover their tracks. Faced with these three monsters, Luo Shen smiled and said, let's test the strength with you first. Shu. On the pitch black street, a silver and white line suddenly lit up, and the sound of the blade cutting flesh and blood instantly became a line. Puff. Three monsters almost simultaneously flew out from Luo Shen's side, falling heavily on the street floor. A large amount of blood sprayed out from their necks, unable to even roar, and could only helplessly pounce on the brink of death. Sleeping Slot. In a large building, the walls of one of the rooms are lined with a plethora of screens, each displaying a scene from somewhere in the town. Many invigilators are carefully examining the screens in front of them. Zhuge Tao, relying on his identity, also leaned in and had someone arrange a separate shot to focus on Luo Shen. Suddenly, a cry of surprise shattered the tranquility of the room. Everyone's gaze was drawn. Zhuge Tao, who was waiting, looked in the direction of the young man's finger, 
who was shouting in surprise. He saw the young man lightly tapping on the keyboard and replaying the video just now. Look, this person. Everyone approached and saw the young man adjusting his speed while replaying, muttering, this knife is too fast, isn't it? How could such a ruthless person have infiltrated this approved martial artist? Zhuge Tao's curiosity was aroused. I saw Lu Ocean's face flickering on the screen, and even though he was intertwined with the three-headed monsters, his sword light shone brightly. In just one moment, he killed the three-headed monsters at the same time. To achieve this, strength, eye judgment, and angle are indispensable. Zhuge Tao couldn't help but twitch his eyes and said, I miscalculated. I didn't expect this little guy to be so powerful. It seems that not only my 250 million yuan cannot be saved, but we also need to provide him with a special training contract. However, seeing Lu Ocean's performance like this, Zhuge Tao was very happy in his heart. No matter how well Lu Ocean performed, he also walked out of his Jiangnan headquarters, and when he mentioned it to the managers of other base cities, he was equally impressed. Along the way, Lu Ocean quickly encountered several monsters and easily killed them. He already has seven monsters on his left ear, and based on past experience, this quantity is sufficient to ensure passing the assessment. Lu Ocean climbed into a quiet and secluded small building. In one of the rooms. It seems that I underestimated my current strength too much. Lu Ocean looked at the sword in his hand, which enabled him to complete his first killing in life. Even if three elementary beast-level monsters were to besiege him at the same time, it couldn't put any pressure on him. Fortunately, it's not entirely without gains. Lu Ocean's consciousness landed in his mind, on the deep blue light screen. At this moment, in the corresponding ability column, significant changes were found in the data. Basic knife technique, 503-1000, basic body method, 921-1000. In fact, when he killed those three elementary beast soldiers, he noticed that the speed of obtaining proficiency had increased. Like regular knife training and body evasion training, even if one is fully committed, it takes a long time to increase one point of proficiency. But now, if one successfully hunts monsters with body and sword techniques, they can gain one point of proficiency. However, after Lu Ocean's experiment just now, he received both good news and bad news. The bad news is that hunting monsters themselves does not necessarily result in proficiency, and even ordinary blade and foot movements cannot achieve proficiency. However, the good news is that using complete blade and body evasion techniques can accelerate the progress of obtaining proficiency. Moreover, the more monsters we face, the stronger their strength and the greater the pressure they face. Every dodge and counterattack has the opportunity to gain additional proficiency. Isn't this just repeatedly jumping horizontally on the edge of death? However, Luo Shen, who consciously found a shortcut, wouldn't miss it for nothing. Moreover, in this monster town, there is no monster that is his opponent, which is perfect for him to level up. When my body method reaches the micro level and my sword technique reaches the specialized level, even if I am facing a medium beast general, I am not afraid. So Luo Shen, who took a brief rest in the room, began to embark on the path of leveling. At first, Luo Shen was somewhat cautious. Because he is not sure where his strength bottom line is, he only dares to pull five to seven monsters at a time, but as he can easily solve battles each time, and his proficiency acquisition speed is also increasing. Luo Shen has decided to launch a big wave. So bring in twelve monsters. And we also need to attract the shadow cat monster, which excels in speed, among the three types of monsters. A simple accumulation of monster numbers does not bring greater pressure to Luo Shen, but shadow cat monsters are different. Cat-like monsters have extremely fast speed and excellent body reaction speed. They are smaller in size, relatively agile, and have extremely fast speed. Even warriors of the same level may be successfully attacked if they are not careful. Not to mention a total of twelve heads. On a deserted street in the small town, Luo Shen is battling twelve shadow cat monsters. 
Come on, come on, little ones. Come again. Under the siege of twelve shadow cat monsters, basic body method evasion appeared somewhat clumsy. Fortunately, with absolute speed and increasingly proficient body methods, they were not allowed to touch their bodies at all. In order to gather these twelve shadow cats, Luo Shen put in a lot of effort. After all, the shadow cat monster itself has extremely strong hiding ability, and coupled with the fact that cat-like monsters are naturally solitary and do not like to gather, Luo Shen spared a lot of effort to attract them out. Roar, just as Luo Shen was maintaining a delicate balance with twelve shadow cats, as his basic body skills were about to become perfect and he stepped into the micro level, a small-eyed tiger mastiff suddenly appeared on the street corner and rushed towards him from behind. Sleeping in bed. Attacking, you little trash. Luo Shen felt helpless in his heart. The promising situation was disrupted by the arrival of an unexpected guest, and any time this tiger mastiff appeared ten minutes later, he could reach the micro level. Shu. After dodging the attack of a shadow cat monster that came rushing from the left, the sword suddenly split out like a bolt of lightning, and the condensed blade light shone in mid-air. The three shadow cat monsters on the left simultaneously spewed blood from their throats and fell to the ground. Basic Knife Technique, Proficiency Plus 7 Basic Body Method, Proficiency Plus 5 The basic body method has reached a perfect state, and the body method has entered the micro level. Instilling the micro level body method skills. End of this chapter. Chapter 9. End of assessment. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 9 End of assessment Have you entered the micro level? Upon hearing the sudden mechanical reverberation in his mind, Luo Shen couldn't help but feel a sense of joy in his heart. He felt the various skills that were constantly being instilled in his mind, and had no time to think about why he had only been able to enter the micro-level body method before, and why it suddenly became perfect. And besides the three shadow cat monsters that were just killed, there are also nine shadow cat monsters lurking around his body. The approaching tiger mastiff should not be underestimated. He needs to solve these monsters first before he can calm down and study slowly. The footprints of Dao Dao Claw appeared beside Luo Shen. But just now, even though Shadow Cat could still fight Luo Shen back and forth, he suddenly felt that the human in front of him had become as slippery as an eel, unable to catch it, unable to catch it at all. I saw Luo Shen elegantly turn around, and the claws of the Shadow Cat monster brushed past. Even if it is close to one centimeter, it will definitely cause fatal damage to him. However, for the shadow cat monster, this one centimeter is like a trench that cannot be touched no matter what. Shu. A cold light tore through the darkness like a leisurely step in the courtyard. The throats of two shadow cat monsters were cut open again, and the right claw muscle of one shadow cat monster was torn. Watching the shadow cat monster roar and limp backwards, Luo Shen couldn't help but shake his head and sigh softly, my knife skills are still a bit poor, otherwise the shadow cat would not have been torn apart by its right paw, but by its throat. When he just took out the knife, he specially adjusted the angle and aimed it at the throat of the three-headed shadow cat monster. However, during the process of cutting, slight shaking caused an angle deviation, resulting in only killing two heads and injuring one. If it is a specialized level sword technique, this situation would not occur at all. It was the fall of two companions again, and those shadow cat monsters seemed to be aroused with ferocity. Their movements became more and more irritable, flashing back and forth by Luo Shen's side, and they suddenly pounced at the right time, intending to trade their injuries for injuries. If it were just now, perhaps your actions could still have some effect. But now. It's too late. Luo Shen connected his feet on the ground, effortlessly avoiding the sharp claws of several shadow cats. He swung his sword from an unexpected angle, causing them to downsize again. Just as Luo Shen unleashed his divine power, he killed twelve shadow cat monsters and one uninvited tiger mastiff in one go. Zhuge Tao, who had been paying attention to him, suddenly stood up and exclaimed in shock, at the micro level. 
To be honest, Luo Shen's previous performance was enough to surprise him. Although he had an advantage in physical fitness, it was actually his first time facing a real monster, and it was quite impressive to have such a performance. The body movements exhibited by Kuluo Shen now completely exceed Zhuge Tao's imagination of ordinary geniuses. Entering the micro-level body method may seem like the next level of basic body methods, but for the vast majority of people, it is like a heavenly valley, and even the vast majority of generals and strong warriors have not stepped into this level. How old is Kuluo Shen and how many battles have he fought? At least reaching the physical fitness level of a senior warrior, coupled with the subtle level body techniques and the physical exertion, this is no longer a genius within the general definition. At a certain moment, Zhuge Tao felt that he had some special attraction to geniuses. Whoever you value will succeed. Moreover, Luo Shen does not come from any big family. Like the previous Luo Feng, he lives in affordable housing, and even worse than the previous Luo Feng because he is an orphan. Without any assistance, relying solely on the rudimentary facilities of the martial arts school to cultivate the basic martial arts techniques. Even though Luo Shen's talent is astonishing. But he was able to reach this point, and it's hard to imagine how much hard work Luo Shen silently put in behind his back. Under such difficult conditions, Luo Shen could perform like this. Zhuge Tao suddenly looked forward to it. If more resources could be given to Luo Shen, what kind of outstanding performance could he have? Coincidentally, the application for the special training contract at the global headquarters has just come down this year. Zhuge Tao touched his eight-character beard and said with a smile on his face, so I'll just go with the flow and act as a favor, helping him. If he can achieve something in the future, it won't waste my hard work. The night passed quickly. Wu Wu, accompanied by the piercing sounds of the town, a thick voice echoed through the loudspeaker throughout the entire town. Time is up, all quasi warriors, gather at the exit of the town immediately. It's time. Luo Shen lost his composure slightly. The seven headed shadow cat monsters surrounding him saw the situation and launched attacks, with sharp teeth and claws all in battle. Hmm. I was planning to let you go, but unfortunately you don't know how to cherish it. The body moved forward instead of retreating, and the ghost sword in his hand was quickly swung, drawing a perfect arc in mid-air, hiss. Suddenly, one monster after another let out a painful roar, and seven streams of blood spewed out one after another. The seven monsters died at the same time. I didn't practice in vain this night and the accuracy of my knife is much higher than when I first arrived. This can be seen from the proficiency of knife techniques. Basic Knife Technique, 803-1000 Luo Shen happily cut off the left ear of the seven monsters, put it in his backpack, and quickly rushed towards the entrance of the monster town. At the entrance of monster town, blood-stained quasi-warriors walked out of the town one by one, and under the guidance of the sergeant, they poured the monster they had hunted last night's left ear into a prepared metal pot on the side. Look, it's Luo Shen recruited in advance by the extreme martial arts school, and there's no blood on his body. His backpack is bulging, how many monsters have he killed? It's impossible, did he put half of the shadow cat's body in his backpack? It's already difficult to kill five monsters in a night. As the only person among the approved warriors who was recruited in advance, Luo Shen immediately caught everyone's attention as soon as he came out, and various comments kept coming up. Where there are people, there is the world. Furthermore, Luo Shen was the only one who was recruited in advance, which naturally attracted jealousy from many people. If he behaved mediocrely, he was afraid that rumors would soon spread. With Luo Shen's ear power, he naturally easily listened to everyone's discussions. But his face remained unchanged as he walked up to the three officers sitting next to him, unloaded his backpack, and with a lift of his right hand, he directly tilted the monster loaded inside into his left ear. The monster has so many left ears that it even fills and overflows the metal pot. Wow! This action directly surprised the onlookers around. How arrogant! 
Even several officers in charge of assessment couldn't help but glance at Luo Shen. This was the first time a student had filled the metal pot carrying the monster's left ear during the assessment. Quickly, the assessment officer had counted the number. A total of 108 monsters left ear. Everyone's gaze towards Luo Shen changed. 108, even a small fraction is more than me. How did this happen? That's 108 monsters. Even if they all stand there and let me kill them, I can't come over. Isn't it about snatching other assessors? I think it's possible that the people from the extreme martial arts school helped him cripple the monster first, and then he went over to repair the sword. Some believe, some doubt, and various judgments vary. But Luo Shen still didn't speak up to explain anything. The sparrow knows the ambition of the swan. To put it bluntly, even if he really wants to explain, it's not his turn to speak up. Just the officer in charge of the assessment needs to take out the assessment video, and naturally everything can be explained clearly. Luo Shen. Wu Tong's voice came from behind. Turn around and look. I saw Wu Tong's old face with a flower like smile, under the illumination of the light, it didn't seep through. After holding it for a while, Luo Shen finally blurted out, Uncle Wu, don't scare people this morning. If you have something to say, you smile like a chrysanthemum, and I'm scared. Upon hearing this, Wu Tong's smile immediately froze on his face. End of this chapter. Chapter 10. Zhuge Tao's Optimism. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 10 Zhuge Tao's Optimism Uncle Wu, don't keep your face straight. Look at your crow's feet. After taking a shower and changing into clean clothes, Luo Xin couldn't help but tease Wu Tong, who was waiting beside him, as if he had been owed two to five to eight thousand yuan. Wu Tong instinctively looked in the mirror. After discovering that he had been fooled by Luo Xin again, he immediately became angry and said, You bastard, you're fooling me again. As he spoke, he was about to give Luo Xin an old punch. Luo Xin quickly begged for mercy and said, Uncle Wu, I was wrong. Don't be angry, I'll treat you to a drink when you go back. Wu Tong drank well and was usually strictly controlled by his wife. How can we block this killing move? Although his throat couldn't stop swallowing saliva, Wu Tong still had an expression on his face that said, You can use this to test the cadres. You always have to pretend to be reserved. But Luo Shen's eyes were very poisonous. As soon as he saw Wu Tong like this, he knew what he was thinking. His lips moved slightly, pretending to be regretful. Wu Tong became a little anxious and quickly said, Let's talk about it first. I don't want to go to ordinary places, at least I have to go to the seventh floor of the HR Alliance Mall. Wu Tong borrowed the donkey from the slope, and Luo Shen naturally agreed, That's necessary. Push open the door of the lounge. Luo Shen, sit down. Zhuge Tao, who was dressed up all over, sat on the chair and smiled at Luo Shen, saying, Congratulations, you have passed the practical assessment and become a formal warrior. He he. Luo Shen didn't hesitate and sat down directly in front of Zhuge Tao. Luo Shen's uncompromising behavior further elevated Zhuge Tao's expectations of him. He is the supervisor of the extreme martial arts school stationed in a base city, and his own strength has reached the level of a high-dot-level warrior. In terms of status, he can be compared to the god of war powerhouse, and his power is amazing. It can be said that he has the ability to see the sky. There are not many people who can still maintain such composure in front of him. I wonder what the supervisor is looking for me for. Luo Shen had a vague guess in his heart. Before and after the actual combat assessment of the warrior, Zhuge Tao approached him twice in a row. If the first time he wanted to meet this newly recruited recruit, then this second time, perhaps it was not just a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Is it difficult? Has Zhuge Tao finally found his lost investment skills package? Luo Shen whispered. Zhuge Tao didn't show any interest and said with a smile, I have seen your performance in the assessment. I think you are a super genius and shouldn't be buried, 
so I am preparing to apply for a special training contract from the Global Headquarters for you. There are two major training camps at the Global Headquarters of Extreme Martial Arts Academy, one is the Basic Training Camp and the other is the Elite Training Camp. And the special training contract corresponds to the Basic Training Camp. With your current performance, it's not difficult to apply for a special training contract. Speaking of the matter, Zhuge Tao's expression became somewhat serious. But I have to tell you, the special training contract is not the best yet. Above all, there is the elite training contract. Zhuge Tao explained to Luo Shen the correspondence between these two contracts and the two major training camps. Luo Shen is aware of the plot of the original work and is very clear about these things. No, you haven't understood what I mean yet. Seeing Luo Shen's bewildered expression, Zhuge Tao stopped showing off and revealed everything in one breath. Whether entering the basic training camp or the elite training camp, it requires the headquarters envoy to come and verify, but every January and February, both training camps will be on vacation. And these two months are your chance. Although I am applying for a basic training camp for you, if you perform well enough, you still have a chance to directly enter the elite training camp. Elite Training Camp, also known as the God of War Reserve. Here we gather the most demonic students from all over the world, whether in sword techniques, body techniques, or physical strength levels, they are all the best among martial artists of the same level, and even spiritual minders. Although Zhuge Tao himself did not quite believe that Luo Shen could enter the elite training camp. But being a person. If there is no dream, what is the difference between it and salted fish? And give it a try without losing out. If it were to be achieved, it would be the elite training camp known as the God of War Reserve, which claims to graduate smoothly and become the God of War's elite training camp. Upon hearing this, Luo Shen nodded knowingly. Isn't this the route for Luo Feng to enter the elite training camp in the original work? At first, Zhuge Tao and others just thought that Luo Feng could enter the basic training camp and apply for a special training contract. However, when the special envoy came over, they found that this young man had a terrifying talent for cultivation on the Nine Thunder Saber, and in just a few months, he had become the third level practitioner. That's why Luo Feng was given a chance to pass the B. Level test. If you pass, you will enter the elite training camp, if you fail, you will enter the basic training camp. You have a good talent for physical exertion. Zhuge Tao suggested, the Nine Thunder Knife itself is a secret technique that focuses on physical strength, and it is indeed very suitable for you. Especially with your current physical strength, it is almost effortless to practice the first two levels. If you can practice the third level within these two months, the likelihood of entering the elite training camp will be much higher. Luo Shen nodded. Although the dark power of the Nine Thunder Knife itself is the wrong growth path, it must be said that the best power secret on earth today is the Nine Thunder Knife. It is indeed a good choice for reference. By the way, there's one more thing. Zhuge Tao seemed to suddenly remember something and warned, whether it's an ordinary warrior or a god of war powerhouse, they don't rely on asceticism. They have all gone through the baptism of monsters in the wilderness. Only through the tempering of blood and fire can they truly become a formidable powerhouse. Zhuge Tao even used Luo Feng as an example. Because first of all, Luo Shen and Luo Feng are fellow disciples and have a close relationship. Secondly, Luo Feng's record is somewhat intimidating. Half a year ago, he was still a newcomer, but half a year later, he became a notorious madman, with an impressive record of hunting tens of thousands of beast soldier level monsters in a single month. Supervisor, senior brother Luo Feng has agreed to let me join the Fire Hammer Squad, Luo Shen said. When I return from the Northern Military District and buy all the secret equipment, I will join them in entering the wilderness area. Fire Hammer Squad, that's pretty good. Zhuge Tao smashed his lip. He originally intended to recommend Luo Shen to another general team, but the current Fire Hammer team is equally strong, especially after Chen Gu, Wei Qing, and Wei Tai have taken genetic potions, and the weakest strength is at the general level. 
The most important thing is that with Luo Feng present, there is no need to worry about Luo Shen being at a loss. Before leaving, Zhuge Tao finally said, Luo Shen, I have great confidence in you. In the next two months, despite your hard work in cultivation, if you encounter any other troubles, feel free to call me. Luo Shen's lips twitched slightly, wanting to ask where the other party's angel round investment went. But in the end, it was not said. End of this chapter